it's Yolanda Renee and today we are going to be doing this makeup look. This makeup is literally no different than what I normally do. Um, I did try a few new products which I don't know how I feel about them yet because I'm looking in the viewfinder and I already feel like I look a little oily. Let's start with this Smashbox primer. This is the photo finish primer. It's oil free. Next, we are ready to do our brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I also use their angled brush. This is in chocolate. Next, we're going to be using this palette from NYX. You guys know I love this. It's very inexpensive at Ulta. These top two shades we I'm going to use to clean up my eyebrows. When you're doing your brows, my biggest tip is you need to follow your natural brow shape. That way your arch is perfect, your brow starts and ends where it's supposed to, it's not too overdrawn. So just follow your natural shape and don't go overboard. orange shade to correct our under eyes, any dark circles you have or dark spots you have. For our concealer, we're going to be using the LA Girl Pro concealer and my favorite color for concealer is Fawn. Now we're going to Blend that out with our damp beauty blender. This is actually a Real Techniques um, sponge and I love this sponge. It is so nice. It reminds me of the original beauty blender. This is what the packaging looks like. Very inexpensive at Ulta. It's like $5.99 compared to the Real Beauty Blender which is like over $20. Now, if you follow me on Snapchat or social media, you guys know I'm not really a fan of foundation. I feel like it ages me. It makes my, you know, smile lines more pronounced. I just really don't like foundation. But <laughs> this foundation is so bomb. Now, today, you'll notice that my skin is um, going to end up dewy and kind of just a dewy look because this is the pro glow version however they do have the matte one now this one looks bad because this one's old i just got this one last night our contour i'm going to be using another la girl pro concealer and this one is in espresso another concealer but we're going to be using this as a highlight this is the what is this maybelline master conceal by face studio and this is medium deep and it's the number 50. i'm going to set my um highlighted areas with this Ben Nye Banana Powder. I would say I had this for about a year and a half and as you can see I haven't even used it all. I don't want to be so bright like the Benai Banana Powder, although it's translucent, it still brightens your face up a bit. So this one's a little bit darker and this is Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder. So I like to use this in some of those areas where I want it to be highlighted but not so bright. So I really like this one too. for my transition shade and basically an all over lid shade. Now we're gonna go into this Smashbox eye palette and we're gonna be using 
um, Moccasin and Dark Horse. Dark Horse is going to go, of course, in a crease and outer um, V of our eyes. So Moccasin is going to go on our eyelid and inner corner. contoured areas I'm going to be using this um, black radiance palette it's a contour palette and this one's medium to dark everyone needs this it's at Walmart it's so cheap you guys need this in your life okay don't laugh I hit pan on most of this so I use this literally every day it's messy I didn't clean it for you guys because y'all I really be using this like crazy so yeah so I use this for contour, um, to blend my contour into my skin, and then also for my highlight. Now we are ready for mascara. We'll be using this Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. I love the brush. The brush is so bomb. So yeah, we're going to be using this for mascara for our top and bottom lashes. Lashes, we are going to be using these Ardell Wispies. I found this multi pack at, I can't remember if it was Sally's or Target. Wispies are popular because, as you can see, the name says it all. Look at those lashes. They literally are super wispy and they're so like natural looking when you put them on. They're not too much. The glue I like to use for my lashes, Duo eyelash adhesive in this and so by the time you're ready to put your lashes on the glue will already be tacky and ready for application As you can see, I'm placing the lash in the center first, and then I'll tap the outside corners, and that's pretty much all you have to do. To make sure the lash is really secure, I also like to squeeze the lash and my lash together, almost like a tweezer sandwich. <laughs> Just be careful though, because you can like hurt your eye with these sharp tweezers, so yeah. Our eyes are basically done, but I did want to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. And we're gonna be trying a different setting spray today. This is the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio. Kat Von D, Kat Von D a go-go. This is the most beautiful lippy ever. I used to wear it all the time. Um, so we're going to be rocking this today. And our lip liner, of course, as always, we're going to mix cork, which I need to get another one. I swear, I don't know how these makeup gurus do it. Here's my look. It looks the same as my last tutorial. But I just wanted to film for you guys. Change it up with the orange lippy. Hopefully you guys like it. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye. Mwah.